Okay guys, I only have around 14 minutes left on my phone, even though I tried to clear everything. So I'm going to be trying to be quite quick here. This is Do We Have a Future Together. Now to let you know, this is just based around the energy at the moment and going ahead in the coming months, okay? It's so important for you guys to understand that everybody has free will. So somebody could predict, yes, it looks like you're going to get married in the future. But then if you turn out to be like, become a bit obsessive with your boyfriend and jealous and calling him a hundred times a day, it's not going to go down well. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? So everybody still has free will, but this is a guide. So pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. So make your choice. You have five seconds. Right, let's go to pile one first of all. Okay, so this is really good actually. So King of, King of Pentacles is kind of brilliant because it's like a really earthy guy, down to earth, very practical, kind of good father figure. Um, usually takes his time. So this relationship can be very, very slow going. They can take years to propose until they're really, really sure. But they once they know, that's it. They're very settled, grounded, usually kind of well off because they really put the work in there. So a lot of the King of Pentacles tend to be entrepreneurs and people like that. I mean, he's got a massive castle in the background. He looks very abundant here. So they can also, like I said, be earth signs or earth personalities. That would be very, very grounded. Now we have healing here. And I feel this guy is actually giving you healing from the past. So by him coming in, it's almost like you didn't realize what you wanted until you met him. And then it was like a eureka moment. You thought, oh my God, this is what I need in my life the whole time it's like a proper moment you've got there okay now we also have here the the nine of cups which is amazing i love this one this literally means like the cat that got the cream so he also feels super super happy he's met you he's just he's really in his element here he just feels settled he i mean the queen of cups is amazing as well because that means he sees you as a very nurturing caring person um you know somebody that would be a very very good mother very warm and it just kind of suits where he's going you know and what he wants in his life and he feels very very lucky to have you so if you pick pile one i would say it's definitely definitely looking very promising that you can have a very stable relationship and he's he he's here to heal old wounds as well so group one looking very, very, very promising for you that you can have a, a long, stable relationship here. Nothing negative coming through at all for you, group one. Right, let's see group two. Ah, oh, we got all the tricky cards, group two. I'm feeling you here. God, I've been there enough times. Right, so straight away, guys, it's not the best because we have the three of swords, which means... I mean, this means exhaustion, basically. The Ten of Wands means you're taking too much on. This relationship is bloody hard work. You feel like you're carrying everything here. You could feel like you're the one that puts all the effort in and he's not really doing a lot. There's loads of arguments as well and conflict, even though you try and your hardest to make things more balanced and calmer. It's almost like this guy's really happy that he's beating the other people. He's kind of gloating. Same could be said for this person, that it's more important to him that he wins the conversation than really realises how it's damaging you, is what I'm picking up here. Um, again, Three of Swords, heartache, grief here. This is going to be a difficult connection. Now, the Three of Pentacles, to me, is like the master, the apprentice, apprenticeship kind of thing, apprenticeship card, like an expert in the field. And in a way, I feel this is quite an ego card for him coming through here as well. He's got quite an ego on him and it's his way or the highway. And you're having to conform to this person. So going ahead in the future, I wouldn't put too much into it unless you're getting enough back. Don't put your heart and soul into a connection where they're not giving back to you. If he's not giving back to you, if he's argumentative at every single turn, this is definitely the gaslighting the gaslighting group if any if ever i've seen it okay it's always you going mad you know what i mean it's like any real any real concerns you have he just tries to play it down that you're too sensitive that kind of thing this isn't looking promising for you mentally either it's going to be very emotionally draining group two so you kind of need to think that is this what i really want 
you know, can I live like this the next 10 years of being with this person or maybe never fully trusting them and always having these arguments? And I also feel strongly with this group, you can never do anything right. It's never good enough. And when you do achieve something or you look absolutely stunning on a night out and you kind of want to impress them, they're never really that impressed. They'd be like, yeah, you look nice, babe, and look away. You know, they try and ignore your achievements. And that's because I feel this person's very insecure as well. So group two, if they do not step up to the mark and give back, if they can't communicate with you, then obviously going forward, this isn't going to be good for you. So you really need to be aware of that. Communication is everything here. You need to lay out on the table and say, this is how I feel. It needs to change or I can't go through this anymore. Because going forward, this is going to be tricky. Group two, it's going to be a tricky connection here. Oh, why can't it be easy? Right, let's go to group three. Okay, now this is weird because um, straight away for me, this is the sexual card, the high energy. I mean, this is like the fire card, fire energy, very sexual energy. So also this card here means nine of pentacles, wealthy, confident, very attractive woman. So they really, really fancy you. I mean, there's a lot of sexual energy here too. This could also be somebody from your past or an ex that kind of keeps coming back in because this is the card linked to your past. So it could be someone you've known in the past and they've come back in or something like that. But this is to do with past and exes usually, okay? Now, the death card means two things. The death card means the complete ending to this connection, but it can also mean it going a different way. It can mean ending now the way you have been and going into something better to let you know. I must say this group here, things would have to change because I feel with this one, it's very much based at the moment on sex on sex and sexual energy and less of the really deep connection and the deep emotions and talking about your future. It's almost like the, the fun card, the fun relationship, the, the party card, the having fun. But when it really comes down to it and you say, I really want marriage and babies, it's going to scare the crap out of them. It will most men, <laughs> but this is a very sexually charged kind of group, group three. So you need to be aware, you need more than that for this to develop if you want a future in this connection. I really feel you definitely need more there, a million percent. And do you know what? I just pulled another card and again, it's another fire, which is Knight of Wands, which means this kind of guy rushes in. It's kind of known as the bit of the Playboy Charmer card because they're very fiery, very passionate, sweep you off your feet, come charging in. And it's it's so fast. It develops so, so, so quickly. And if it's an ex or someone you knew before, it's almost like you never left them. You know what I mean? But again, it's so sexually charged here. You need the deeper meaning here. If you want a future with this person, it's worth knowing they're on the same page as you and they want the same things, but you could be wasting your time. If they don't want to commit and they say that, they will not change their mind. Don't stay around for another year, like I've done before, even longer, and think you can change this person. If they say to you, I do not want a commitment right now. I do not want babies or marriage. I'm not sure if I even want that. Take it seriously. Do not think you can change them. Do not think, oh, if I stay another year or two, then they might change their minds and grow up a bit. No, don't do it. So there's a lot of attraction here. They're really, really into you. But the death card almost means the death of this, how it is at the moment. And you need more for it to last into the future, if that makes sense. This is not going to be enough to keep you going for the future. Because anyone knows in a really long term relationship, it does get stagnant and stale. You're not having sex like five times, six times a week like rabbits. I don't even think I was like that anyway, to be honest. But anyway, too much information. <laughs> But it does die down with time. It's very hard to keep up that rate once real life comes in, you know? So something here does need to change if you want this to, you know, to last. Right, group three. Group three is not bad. It's just saying, I mean, they're really into you. It's just saying you need a bit more stability if you want marriage, kids, the whole life partner kind of thing. Right, group four. I've really missed doing these. I've only just realised how much I've missed doing all these. It's been like uh, three weeks since I did one before. I wish my camera wasn't so wonky today. Sorry, guys. Right, group four. Oh, <laughs> sorry, me. Oh, really, really promising group four. The lovers straight away. So, I mean, you can't get much better than that. Then, you know, this is a, a reading about the future and what's going to go ahead. So, it's really, really going to develop here. 
Um, also, the only issue you do have here slightly is the Two of Pentacles, which means at the moment things aren't perfect in the way that things aren't balanced, they might be focusing on their career a lot and working their ass off and they're not really seeing a lot of you. Could be you, could be you that's super busy. You need to make time for each other for this to work. This is the only issue, juggling things, okay? The lover's card in the future looks amazing, looks really, really promising for group four as well. Wheel of Fortune, now because this is so promising, the Wheel of Fortune can go either way, up or down. Uh, with this, I feel it's actually very, very promising and it's, it's looking good for you. Your luck's changing with this connection. And we have the world as well, which almost means like this person is coming in to expand your horizons in a way the way you, even the way you see the world. And I just feel really, really positive about group number four. Oh my God, sorry guys. Now I pull one more card, right? If you get the lovers and the two of cups, they do tend to say it's a soulmate relationship. So this is a very, very deep, deep connection here. You, you probably have met before a few times. They probably f seem very, very familiar to you and you can just tell them anything really, very, very quickly, very soon, even after hours of meeting them, you feel like you've known them for a very, very long time. This is looking really, really promising. Two of two of cups is nearly always two people coming together for a relationship. The feelings are completely mutual. And especially with the lovers as well, it's a very, very strong connection here. So yes, guys, going into the future, it's looking very promising. You are going to last as well. Again, with every single thing here, people have free will. You do need to sort out the balance here, make time for each other. But other than that, looking very promising, group four. Guys, have an amazing day, amazing day. I'm off to Sweden in a week. I cannot wait, I've never been there. And I'll do some readings from Sweden in a week. Um, and yeah, show you, show you what it's like over there. Bye guys.